It's time for the MCTS Experience with Mr. Orr and Mr. Nash. Discover your passion and unlock your future. All right, everybody. Welcome to the MCTS Experience. Very exciting show for you. Um, I am, of course, Mr. Orff, and with me is the great Mr. Nash. Power-packed episode. Power-packed. Power-packed. We're, we're, we're running on all cylinders, as you mm. automotive guys would say. Mm. Um, with us, of course, is Nick MacGyver Sikowski behind the Mic- board. Microphoneless. Microphoneless, as we intended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, just, he, he twists the knobs and does the buttons, the levels, the that's, this, the that. That's plenty. That's plenty. He does a great job of it. Of Excellent. A um, couple quick announcements before we get underway. We've, uh, we've got a mocktail party for our alumni. Um, to be clear, this is not just alumni. If you have any affiliation with the school, um, we'd love to see you come out to it if you're a member of our General Advisory Council, if you do business with us. CIE. If you've got a kid that Nash brought you who's out on CIE, CIE come to this mocktail party. It's uh, November 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Cypex Center. The students cook. Um, we got fake cocktails. It's really fun. They decorate music. Go ahead, Nash. Tell us. What about I it. love about it is it's a Thanksgiving holiday time of the year. People are often in town coming back home to connect. And it's like the kickoff for that season. Yeah. And, you know, if you ever wanted to come back and see your CTE teacher, let a program t- instructor know how well you're doing, an academy teacher. You know, we do some some really neat awards sometimes that people get high lit for their achievements as a teacher. And usually, uh, you know, a, a graduate or alumni comes back and awards it. It's kind of fun. Yeah, like a former student from their class. Yeah, it's a networking event. You don't have to stay there. It's from five to eight. You don't stay there for three hours. You pop in, you say hi, you have a little thing, you have a little snack. Chef Angle, Chef Silverman, they know how to prepare and their kids know how to do it. Plenty of good eats. Plus, I'm there. You can take a picture with me. I'll sign an autograph. Nash will be there. He'll talk to you about all kinds of fun stuff. You know what it reminds me of, Mr. Nash? What? It's like homecoming. Yes. It's like a homecoming without freezing your butt off at a football game. Right? No brainer. You just come uh, You come and you see the old folks. You see the old teachers. It, it, it shows you how where you're at in your career trajectory as well as your adult life trajectory. You've left Teenage Island. You know, you're out yes. in the open seas. You're like, check out the boat that I made with the skills that MCTS made. I've been living at sea like Tom Hanks with the beach ball. That's right. Well, that's what happens. But I made it. But I survived. You And you're killing it. And, <laughs> and you're, you're getting picked it. up. You're getting picked up by the freighter. And you're like, check out the adult life that I now have. I got off Teenage Island thanks to MCTS. Yes. Um, excellent. You mentioned those awards. We call them the Techie Awards, right? Correct. Techie Awards. We yep. give awards to some of our favorite teachers. Um, we've also got, I just want to mention a couple of district information sessions. Very important. Uh, by the time this airs, you should uh, be, it might be tonight, uh, district information session, November 12th. Mm-hmm. Um, that's mm-hmm. Tuesday night, November 12th mm-hmm. at the Assenpink Center, 1085 Old Trenton Road, what goes on 6 p.m. Infor- I'm, I'm purposely asking, I know what goes on, but if I'm hearing this, well, yeah, what goes what, on? What's an information session? Yeah, what's, that, what's that do? Well, I'll tell you, we cover information about all of our different programs, the share time programs for high school students, as well as our full-time programs, the academy programs, STEM, Health Science Academy, mm-hmm. and Culinary Arts Academy. Mm-hmm. We go over all of those things, a PowerPoint, there's videos, it's a laser light show. Um, I do some juggling. It's Stop. very exciting. Jeez. It's very exciting. I perform a few magic tricks. I saw one of the students in half. Yes. Producer Nick. <laughs> we saw Producer Nick in half. Yes, that's right. <laughs> That's right. He's very tall anyway, so it's, it it's hard out. to even tell. It works yeah. out. It works out. Um, anyway, it's a great, it's a great, great experience to learn about uh, to, any of our programs. To Parents, me, students, anybody can come. It, it's one of those things. If, if you're a parent going, oh my gosh, my son or daughter really hasn't fallen in love with something at school that they can set a compass heading to and get a career going, hey, come on out and check us out. I'm begging you to come. It's not what you think it was. I mean, you... Everybody hears my tagline. It's not jean jackets and mullets anymore. And it used to be back in the day, but it's not anymore. So whether you want to learn about academies, STEM Academy, culinary, HSA, or share time. That's right. If you miss that one, uh, there is another one on December 12th. Um, well, exactly one month later at the Cypex Center, 129 Bull Run Road. We had 80 people at the last one, the one we had last month. It was, Exciting. A, it was a, a big, big crowd. They were fighting to get in. Um, now, uh, tell us, uh, Nash, a little, a little bit of, a little about the uh, uh, Drive One for Your School event. Well, you know, as, as back in middle of October, we had our Drive One for Your School event, and I'm already in works to schedule our spring event. So Drive One for Your School is where we partner with a local Ford dealership. It's sponsored by the corporation. The local dealer has nothing to do with it other than hosting, and we fundraise. It's, it's Skills USA and CTSO fundraising, and basically we made three over $3,000 in six hours. That's phenomenal. Mick, you were there. It was awesome. Uh, beautiful day, beautiful weather, consistent. Probably the most consistent flow of parents, students, alumni, yeah. community members, 
Uh, I mean, we had a two, we had a Mustang convertible, F one fifty. I mean, those are the hot ones. Always two trucks going. Always two Mustangs going. How many candy bars would you have to sell to raise <laughs> over three thousand dollars? Well, the fact that you did it in six hours. I don't even know how, you, if you could create that with candy bar or, or popcorn tin sales. I mean, come on. I mean, it would take you f- uh, most of your life. Forget about six hours. It would it, take a long, long time. And the only part that pains me or breaks my heart is we left $3,000 on the table. They maxed us out at $6,000. We had 150, 100, 150, 156 people show up. If there's 300 people that show up that are 18 and older with a driver's license, yeah. That then we get the six thousand. Springtime, we're going for the full six. I'm shooting for Mother's Day Saturday. Whole Megillah. Mother's Day Saturday. Mark your calendars. That one's in Heightstown. Correct. All right, we're going to be there for that one. Um, good. Let's get the show rolling. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment with our student of the week. And now it's time for student of the week. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with our student of the week. This is Ben Bauchman. I'm saying your name right, your mm-hmm. name right Ben? Yeah, close enough. Very good. Welcome, Ben. <laughs> really, really glad you're with us. Ben comes to us by way of Hamilton West High School. He's a senior in our carpentry program, and Ben has really uh, taken the baton and run far, far, far with it. Um, we also, I just want to give a quick shout out, Ben, to your guidance counselor. Go ahead and say her name for us. Miss Morasco. Miss yeah, Morasco. Daniel she's a Marasco. heavy hitter. Heavy hitter in MCTS standards. We love her. She mm-hmm. was on this podcast. Uh, we did one, We did uh, an right episode with her. Time. You got to listen to it. Yeah, it's, she was our, our featured guest. But um, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Mr. Nash talk to you a little bit more because this is his area of expertise, but I think you're the first uh, Assam Pink student to go out on CIE this year. Is that right? Yep. All right. So, I mean, everybody listening, Benny Bachman is... Uh, carpentry, our carpentry program is, is really dynamic and provides incredible opportunities, and Benny jumped on that this past summer. Mm-hmm. So if you would go back in time machine, if you're listening, if you're a high school graduate or if you're in high school and imagine being junior summer and you're going to work with one of the most uh, predominant contractors in the region, uh, the original Sebastiano Nini, he's a complete builder. Oh, and, I, I see their signs yeah. and their trucks. Run it's all the it's like a pillar. It's a, the sign is a, that of a pillar yeah, of yeah, like yeah, an yeah. Italian build. And it's kind of funny as I went to high school with Enzo, the son, and Sam is the father. I believe Sam is phasing his way out of the business, yeah. as Benny will tell you. But Enzo's going strong. The business is phenomenal, and uh, he wanted he 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 was looking for talent. So uh, he reached out, and I said, "Look, I got a really strong junior." And Benny took the ball and ran with it. So, what was it like working in the summer pr- prior to CIE, which is co-op? Mm-hmm. But what was it like to work in the summer and go to the interview process? Take us through that. Oh, it was, it was great. Like I going into it, I didn't know what to expect, mm-hmm. but. He made it really easy for me to transition from Votech into the work job, and uh, mm-hmm. and that was all summer. You worked forty hours a week. Yep, and all you worked summer. and worked all over uh, Princeton, mm-hmm. Long Beach Island. Mm-hmm. You name all over, yeah, all over doing everything. Every, drywall, finish carpentry, paint, mm-hmm. everything. everything. Yeah, basically. masonry. Yep, a little bit. Okay, wow, well, that's that's phenomenal. That's mm-hmm. after one year of carpentry here. Yes. You were doing that this summer? That's pretty, so, pretty impressive. Yeah, I and mean, if you're listening to this, here's what happens. Benny decided to, hey, wow, I'm interested in this. And, and what drew you to carpentry uh, in your junior year? What just made you want to uh, apply to that program? I had a friend that was a senior when I was a sophomore go into this program, mm-hmm. and he uh, basically talked me into it mm-hmm. and told me everything about it. And, mm-hmm. uh, and what'd yeah, you so say? I'm, you're like, oh, cool. I yeah, it's pretty cool. Gets me out of school, regular I, school. And, and, and you feel alive when you came here your mm-hmm. junior year. Yeah. Is it the first time in your high school career that you really felt fulfilled? Uh, yeah, I felt like I was doing something with my life and uh, getting on the right track. Love that. Dude, that's all I Love that. Cinderella story, and people don't know this, but I'd l- I asked prior to coming on the air. So over the summer, you're working for Enzo, mm-hmm. and then something unfortunate happens. Tell everybody that story and how Enzo responded to it. Yeah, I woke up in the morning, uh, went to the job, 645, and I opened my trunk, and my tools weren't there at all. All, no, all tools no, stolen no. from the car. Oh, I had, had no, no idea where they were, and uh, talked to Enzo about it. He was like, all right, I'll figure something out. Called me about an hour later. He was like, go to Home Depot, get you what you need, and go back to the job. Are you kidding? Mm-hmm. Paid for everything. Oh, my God. Enzo paid for everything. Ooh. Everything he got stolen from. And it wasn't stolen on the job site. It's not like the car was at the job site. Right, right. It was wherever, you know, it yeah. could have been anywhere. You were at a, a shopping center, parked in front of your house at night. That's a nice employer. I'll tell you what, man. Well, he appreci- and here's the thing. As you figured out, Benny, respect is earned. It's not given. Mm-hmm. And you earned Enzo's respect by him doing, he, Enzo's a good guy. Yeah, he, yeah. But how many employers? <laughs> but he wouldn't have done that if you were a knucklehead. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, he, he would have said, tough darts, kid. Your tools are gone. Get out of here. Hey, listen, you're going to learn, nice to, l- learn <laughs> yeah. to lock your car at night or, or whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so now it, you work all summer. You, you, how much? I know this is so hard, and I, I love asking this question on purpose. How much did you learn from that first week to the last week? Oh, I learned a ton. Every, like, going into Votech, it was just the stepping stones. And then going actually on the like the job site mm-hmm. just taught me so much more than I never would have like guessed. So it, so Nace gave you the foundation, if you would. We're using a house analogy. Nace built the foundation, did How the block. Appropriate. Yeah. Well, you know that's what I do. But <laughs> and then and then all of a sudden you work forty hours. You know you're getting up at six in the morning. You're packing yeah. your lunch. You're grinding mm-hmm. while everybody else is sleeping until eleven thirty and watching prices right. But your bank account's growing. Oh yeah. And most importantly, your life knowledge is growing. So here here's what happens, everybody. He does this all summer. Comes back, school starts senior year, and all of a sudden, Enzo called me. He's like, how soon can I get him? Oh, wow. And it's not because you're picking up roofing nails and and, and sweeping up the job site, although um, that's part of the job, yeah. and you know that. But it's not like you're schleppy McSchlepp. I mean, you're neck deep. I just did two CIE visits. You guys are doing a rental property over by Reynolds yep. and Steiner. They ripped off all the sheathing on the house, and they, they resided it. You guys did trim work. He did soffit work. I mean, this isn't... He's not making birdhouses. Right. I mean, t- take us through some of the stuff that you've been doing recently. Uh, recently, just doing a lot of siding, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of gutters also. Mm-hmm. Uh, just put up cabinets in uh, Enzo's rental house. There you go. Mm-hmm. Did oh. the whole kitchen. Um, another question for you. So, so now this the CIE the way that it works, you're getting you're still getting credit. It's as if you were here mm-hmm. five days a week, but instead you're out on a job site. Yeah, you're making getting money. Your Twenty credits. That's phenomenal, mm-hmm. right? Your friends got to be jealous of that. Oh yeah, <laughs> he goes. They, they're sitting in school while I'm out there. And, and the cool part is, he still comes back every Monday. You know, we're taping this on a Monday, right? So, if if a student goes to the Aspen campus and they're on CIE co-op, co-op yeah. and CIE, CIE are synonymous for everyone listening. So if he's on co-op, he he still comes back. Benny and all the students that go out from the Aspen campus, they return every Monday. I meet with them individually. Before we did this podcast, I went through electrical, carpentry, HVC, diesel, and AED. And with that, we, we I meet up with everybody and say, hey, how's your job going? We talk about what's happening on the job in front of the entire class, whether students are out on CIE or not. And that piques interests of people that are in the classroom. Like, wow, I can do that. Sure. Because that's what it's really all about. You come here to see if, if what you want to do is a career. Mm-hmm. Do you love what you do? And I'm, I mean sincerely. Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't dread going to work. I get up, do what I got to do, and get off. How much? And, and so... After school's over, do you see yourself working for Nini full time? Yes. Okay. And then maybe do some more schooling if you want. And if not, you don't have to. But mm-hmm. the reality is, is what we always talk about the, the four career pathways are once high school's over, you got four doors that you get to pick from military, two year, four year college, career based employment with upward mobility. That is not a job. And that's exactly what Benny has right here. But Benny could have a change of heart. That's the neatest thing about this in the educational game. You could fall in love with it and be like, hey, you know what? I think I want to go to Mercer and study contracting and get my contractor's license. And you could do that. Mm -hmm. And the last one is trade school, which, again, you might decide to do that. And Enzo, you talk. And it's a reality. See, it's always a state of flux the entire senior year in terms of what kids want to do. And that door is right there, open, ready to be happy. But you've already picked the one, and you've got a pathway with that. So kudos to you, Benny. And the better you keep doing it, this, the more pathways you're going to have, the more opportunities (laughs) and chances. Wrap it up real quick with Ben. Give us a couple of words about Mr. Nace, the carpet instructor. Mr. Nace, he's a great teacher. Mm-hmm. He uh, taught me basically everything I know. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he's a very good teacher. Helps you out when you need it. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Calm, right. calm, cool, collected. Yep. Absolutely. Always. Well, all right. Hey, there you go. That's nice to hear. Um, we really appreciate you joining us, Ben. Congratulations on all your, all your success. You Thank deserve you. it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Bauchman, your student of the week. We don't stop learning after the bell rings. Guess what? It's time for teacher tips. Hey, everybody. Our uh, teacher tip this week comes to us from Mr. Aguaviva. Uh, Mr. Aguaviva is our electrical construction teacher, and uh, he's going to give you a little quick advice. Go ahead. Okay. When we're measuring a wire, usually most people want to be economical, so they will make it just exactly what you need. Then at the end of this, when we go to hook it up, we found out we were two inches short. So I always have this saying that you ought to be looking at the wire than looking for the wire. Leave a little extra length. Yep. Very nice. That's a great teacher tip, and uh, that's something we can use in our, in our general everyday lives. 
or if you're out on a job site cutting wires too. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Aquaviva. You're welcome. Welcome to Mercer County Technical Schools. Thank you. This is Jason Panama from the Electrical Construction, and listen to the MCTS Experience. Hey, you, come here, come here. Check it out. They're in our school. They're in our community. They're around the corner. Welcome, our featured guest. Welcome, everybody. We're very, very excited to have our featured guest with us. Our featured guest is Lori Russo. Uh, Lori is the new supervisor at Assenpink, um, the Assenpink Center, where we house, of course, our diesel, HVAC, carpentry, um, AED, AED, Electrical. architectural engineering design, the electrical program, medical health occupations, system. and medical office assistant. All of these shared time classes are here, as well as the Health Science Academy. Lori, you got your you got your plate full. There's a lot going on here this year. I sure do. Welcome. We're very glad thank you're here you. with thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Would you mind telling us a little bit about just yourself and your career for those uh, who haven't met you yet, whether it's our listeners or students or anything? Tell well, us a little bit about you. I have a pretty exciting career. Um, I started out in probation many, many years ago. Whoa. Right? Wow. I worked probation for about eight years, but it got a little disappointing because you can't help people when you get to that. You know, mm. they're already in a mess and... Mm. There's not too much you can do. So I went back to my original passion, which was teaching. Okay. Mm -hmm. But instead of being an English teacher like I thought I would be, from working probation, I started teaching behaviors. Mm -hmm. So I worked at a coastal learning center. I worked at Allentown High School. Mm -hmm. And most recently, I came from Mercer County Special Services mm -hmm. teaching you know, behavioral students. And and so are you uh, part of a behavior intervention plan? Would you be would you be helping write those, or are you working with the kids more on a a one on one basis? One on one, I was the yeah. teacher, behavior teacher. Okay, I would oh, have wow. like you know all EDBD students. Wow, okay. wow, God, that's got to be a, a tough job, but uh, maybe rewarding too. Very rewarding. You can help students right now. At this time, I have seven students in college, oh, and they came gosh. to me with that's ankle. So awesome. They came to me with ankle bracelets on and. Uh, a lot of baggage, carrying a lot of baggage, but we got them to a point of, you know, being Success. successful. That's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Yeah, so that's, that's awesome. exciting. Absolutely amazing. Um, and tell us about a little bit about your, your first impressions of MCTS in general. What do you think of this school? How do you like it so far? Well, it was like a quick decision. It wasn't something that I thought I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But the minute I walked through the door, I knew I was meant to be here. Nice. Oh, that's um, great. The students are motivated. They want to be here. It's different, but it's very exciting, very challenging some days. But I couldn't be happier. Good, good. We're uh, we're really we, glad to have you. Here. You know, we often say that that of course there's elements of conventional learning, and and everybody listening knows this, Laura. You know it. But I I selfishly say we're the last frontier of true education. Kids coming to pick to be a part of what what we offer and they embrace us we embrace them and you, you certainly uh, align yourself with that passion for students and and you love kids it shows and and we've seen that just in the, the time you've been here so yeah it works and and if you have kids who are sort of uh thrust upon you from a behavior standpoint at, well, at your other win. jobs in the previous past these are kids who are choosing to come here so this is gonna. This is gonna feel like a layup to you. Big believer in the yeah the CTE programs and uh, my all my three of my children. I have three children. One does water treatment. Oh no! Kidding. One is um, the head of buildings and ground for Rumson Fairhaven, mm -hmm. and then my daughter just graduated Rutgers, got her transportation supervisor. So wow! They're all hands-on kids. Yeah. They're all very. All three very CTE friendly yes. uh, careers and very That's successful fantastic. and happy. Good. It's all about it's finding about, something you can do and being happy. It's uh, you've heard probably walk through my OSHA class. I was genuinely connect with the kids. I'm like, look, y you got to be good at it naturally. You got to be passionate about it, and they got to want to pay you for it. Yeah. It, it. Those are the key components. It's easy to hit the two. It's the three that gets a little tricky, and <laughs> and depending on which one it is, so. We'll get your son in to talk to our uh, horticulture and turf care maintenance oh, class. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. He'd love that. He'd he would. And Birdsall's be on that. Like, Absolutely. White on rice. I love it. Absolutely. Um, Louie, we're really glad to have you here with us, and uh, let's have a great year. We, uh, we welcome you to MCTS and to the Aspen Pink Center. Um, we really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Lori Russo, our featured guest. Mr. Nash, what an episode. Another great, great time. We had a lot of our uh, our ass and pink friends here. Um, MCTS, we're a big family. One family. We love it. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Um, we want to thank all of our, our guests today uh, while we're wrapping things up. Uh, Mr. Aguaviva, of course, for our 
teacher tip. Thank you very much, sir, and welcome aboard. Another excellent. He is killing it. Excellent new if, uh, if, team member here. If you're a son or daughter, or you're a person listening to this, and you think might you want to uh, study uh, electrical engineering, be an electrician, start your own, but whatever, come whatever. check out a day. Spend a day with Mr. Aquavita. Yeah, you'll 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 really have an experience. Um, also, big thanks to our featured guest Lori Russo, um, the new supervisor here, and of course our uh, student of the week, Ben Bauken. Um, Mr. Nash, any final thoughts? It's a great time to start coming up. If your son or daughter is a freshman or a sophomore or an eighth grader, come on up and do some visits. If you want me and Mr. Orff to go into your middle school, watch this. Let's reach out to the family and the Mercer County family. Maybe you want MCTS to come into your middle school. We'll We'd come. love to come. Yeah. I, I'm there. I'm there. I'll bring the, I've will bring. i got a whole presentation. I already go to Heightstown. We already do Lawrence. That's right. We're looking for more. So We've got relationships with all these middle schools. We'll come in and talk to your kids. We're happy to do it. I, if, when people know, they get excited. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that'll that'll do it for us this week. On behalf of myself and Mr. Aguaviva, Ms. Russo, Mr. Bauchman, Mr. Nash, uh, and the great Nick MacGyver Sikowski, this is Mr. Orff uh, reminding you to discover your passion and unlock your future.